Hello, I'm Svetlin Naku from Softuni. I'm excited for yet another episode of our Dev Concept series. In this one, I'll make an overview of asynchronous programming. I will explain everything you need to know and understand as a developer. Multi-threading, background tasks, promises, weapon service workers, and parallel process execution. Stay until the end of the video for a live demo with JavaScript and some cool examples. Asynchronous programming is another important paradigm in software engineering. Asynchronous programming and concurrent execution allow multiple pieces of code to run simultaneously. This is quite natural in computer software. You can listen to music on your laptop while browsing a website and downloading files. Asynchronous programming allows several functions or methods of your codes to be executed simultaneously. Just like you are executing several programs in the same time, there are many concepts and technologies which implement asynchronous code execution. Multi-threading, background tasks, promises, forked processes, web workers, service workers, and others. Multi-threading in Java and C Sharp uh, and Python allows simultaneously running several threads. A thread of execution is a piece of code which runs simultaneously within your program or application. Threads are methods or functions which are executed concurrently. A program can run multiple threads concurrently. Threads share the program state memory and other resources. Accessing shared data th from concurrent threads may need synchronization. What will happen if one thread is printing the elements from a list while another thread is deleting some of the elements in the same time? The program can crash when it tries to read deleted elements. This is a big problem with multi-threaded applications. Inconsistent behavior, crashes, unexpected results and hanging are just few examples of problems when multiple threads access shared data concurrently. To solve these challenges, developers use thread synchronization uh, critical sections, walks, mutexes, semaphores, signals, atomic operations, and monitors are examples of synchronization objects used in multi-threading to resolve the conflicts when accessing shared data from several threads. Many programming languages offer a simplified concurrent programming model without threads. It is based on background tasks and in C Sharp and promises in JavaScript. Tasks and promises are handled by special language constructs, async and await. We shall learn how to use them in the JavaScript programming modules and courses at SoftUni. Web workers and service workers in HTML5 are tasks, JavaScript code which run in the background. Workers are white threads, but they cannot access shared data, so synchronization is not needed. Workers communicate with the hosting website through messages. 
Running multiple parallel processes in Windows or Linux is another option to implement concurrent code execution. This approach is typical for low-level programming languages like C. In this live example, I will demonstrate how to implement concurrent code execution using web workers in JavaScript. We open the live example at repo.it. It needs some time to load, as usual. We have an HTML file which starts to web workers. And a JavaScript file which holds the web workers code. We run the example and we see the execution results. The HTML page starts to web worker switch running in the background simultaneously. Once per second, each worker sends a message to the page, an increasing integer number. The web page prints the data received from the background workers. And this is the output. The most curious of you could take a closer look at the source code to learn how it works. Promises are used to handle asynchronous operations in JavaScript. A promise in JS is a special object which holds an operation that runs asynchronously. Let's see how the promises work through some code examples and live demos. Promises are very important concept in JavaScript and some other languages. You cannot be a JavaScript developer without understanding how to use promises. Without promises, you cannot execute asynchronous tasks like downloading a resource from the server. A promise in JavaScript holds an operation that runs asynchronously. After completion or failure of the operation, an event is called. This means that the operation behind the promise runs in the background. Some functions like fetching a resource do not return the result, but return a promise. This is a promise to execute the requested operation in background and return the result later. Promises accept functions to be involved in case of success and in case of error. Let's see an example. We fetch the blog posts from the SoftUni blog through its API. This fetch function in JavaScript downloads a resource through an asynchronous HTTP request. It does not return the resources itself, but instead returns a promise. Next, we pass to the promise function to be called when in case of success. This function will receive the HTTP response as parameter from the promise. To download the, the response body as JSON object, we use a promise again. In case of success, we print the downloaded blog posts uh, as JSON string on the console. Finally, 
we pass to the promise a function to be caught in case of error, a lambda expression. This function will be involved in case of problem, for example, if the remote server is down or if the specified URL is invalid or if the internet connection is lost. The error function will receive the error details as parameter from the promise. If an error occurs, we print the error details on the console. Let's see the previous example in action. We open the live example of at repo.it. It needs some time to load as usually. And we run the example and we see the blog post from the soft unit block. This code prints the JSON received from the web server as it is. Then it extracts the post IDs and titles from the JSON and prints them. We can modify the code to request an invalid URL uh, to see what will happen. We change post to post2. Um, now the URL is invalid. We run the code and we see an error. 404 not found. The promise has failed to download the resource and the error handler has been involved. Hey, did you like this lesson? Do you want more? Join the learners community at softuni.org. Subscribe to my YouTube channel to get more free video tutorials on coding, dev concepts, and software development. Get access to more free dev lessons and learning resources for developers. Get free help from mentors and meet other learners. And it's all free. Join now, softuni.org.